Hello BookTube! Welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and it's Friday so I have been really wanting to get back into doing a regular Friday Reads videos and I you know just had a lot of projects that were wrapping up this month you know end of the summer type stuff and all of that and so it just hasn't worked out and now here we are the last Friday of the month and it's practically time to do a monthly wrap-up. So I'm still working on a few books that I hope to finish by the end of the month. So I don't even really want to talk about the books that I finished, although I will mention briefly uh, what I'm currently reading right now. And then uh, I want to tell you about my library checkouts because I have just recently checked out a whole new crop of library books that I'm going to be reading over the next month, hopefully. And uh, I'll show them to you. But first of all, what I'm currently reading mostly is um, what I still need to finish up for this month for my read-alongs that we're doing on my Goodreads group, Lizzie Faye's Comfy Corner. So I'm reading Cape Light, and I may not get this one done by the end of the month. I really want to, but I'm a lot closer to finishing Before the Dawn by Carolyn Arson. So if I'm going to finish one or the other, I'm already half done with this one, and it's a shorter book. So I'll probably work on finishing it. Now we're also doing a read-along of Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers, but we're stretching this out over a two-month period. So I'll just get to about the halfway point. I've got uh, still this week's section to read, and um, that's all I'll do for this month. And so we'll finish that up near the end of October. Uh, then also, if you look on my currently reading list on Goodreads, it uh, says that I am reading a book that's an, uh, well, it's an e-book called Winter's Morning, and morning is spelled with a U. Uh, it is by Janice J. Richardson, and it is book two in a cozy mystery series that is set in a funeral home. Now, uh, Janice J. Richardson is um, a former funeral director. In fact, I have read her memoir on how she trained to be a funeral director and, uh, and did that for a while. And now she is writing books uh, that are set in a funeral home. So they're very interesting and you can tell that she really knows her stuff because that is what she's trained to do. So uh, I recommend them. Uh, this is the second book, Winter's Morning. I believe Casket Cash was book one. And I've got the third book and maybe the fourth one on my Kindle on ebook. So I have been wanting to get to the second book for a while and uh, and now I'm reading it. Although I, I, I hear a lot of people say they don't like to read on their Kindle. I don't mind reading on my Kindle. I kind of enjoy it, but I have to be in the right mood for it. So I like to have something going on my Kindle just in case that's all I have room to bring wherever I'm going. You know, if I'm going to be someplace where it's just not appropriate to have a book, I can have my Kindle and it just kind of looks like a big phone. <laughs> and uh, and I can have that and, and still have a book that I'm reading. Also, I just bought an ebook. It's a novella. And I didn't mean to you know, click on it to start reading it, but apparently I did. And so according to Goodreads, it's on my currently reading list as well. And it's part of the Remnant Chronicles. It's called Morrigan. Let me find the cover so I can show you. It's really pretty. And I believe this is kind of the prequel backstory of the Remnant Chronicles. Now, I've read the first two, and I'm really anxious and eager to read book three, but I wanted to go ahead and get this novella read first. So I don't know if I'll get this read by the end of the month, but uh, since it's only, I think, like three chapters, it would be good if I could go ahead and get it done because my numbers are way down for the month of September. I'm going to be doing good to finish maybe 14 or 15 books this month. So, um, you know, and you guys know that's not my norm, at least not lately. Uh, but anyway, for my monthly wrap-up, I'll show you everything that I have read. And it's mostly all been on audio. I've had a really hard time finishing any print books. Um, and I did finish up a, co a couple of other books for my read-alongs, like uh, Welcome to Harmony. It was a reread. And The Cherry Cola Book Club was also a reread. So... Uh, so that is what I have um, been reading and what I'm currently reading. I also want to announce that I am going to be adding one more read-along slash buddy read to my Goodreads group. Actually, I have already added it. The threads are there. But Sarah from Not Just Romance Novels and I had talked a couple months ago about buddy reading The Apple Orchard by Susan Wiggs. Let me show you that somewhere. I think I have it here. 
Yes, no, where is it? Oh, here it is. I had to think for a minute. So uh, this is one of my library checkouts right now. I'm going to be getting this on CD from the library, but I just went ahead and grabbed the print copy off my library shelves uh, the other day so that I could show you. So The Apple Orchard by Susan Wiggs is... Um, a book that Sarah has had on display on her shelves for quite a while and I commented about it once and you know ask her if uh, you know if she's gonna read that anytime soon and we just got to talking about it and decided that since it's you know about an apple orchard the fall would be a good time to read it so we have decided to open it up for anyone and so I started some discussion threads on my Goodreads group so that if you would like to join us and make this a group read, then we would love to have you join us. So I would love to have you do that. And then one other note about my group reads and buddy reads. I had scheduled to do a live stream video, a live stream on YouTube for tomorrow, uh, which will be Saturday, September 29th, and I'm not going to be able to do it. I've got too much going on here at my house. I've got someone coming to get our piano, and I may need to go in after that and meet our builder to pick out some tile, and there's just too much going on in my house. So um, we're going to go ahead and stick with what I originally said I would like to do would be just the first Saturday of each month, and we would talk about the books from the previous month. So that is, uh, that is my plan. Uh, so that will be Saturday, October 26th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So that's 8 a.m., right? Yeah. Uh, Pacific Time if you're on the um, west coast of the U.S. And, of course, for any of you across the pond, then that'll be later in the day. Whatever, you know, whatever time you're in. Unless, I guess, yeah, unless you're in Australia, that'll be much later in the day. <laughs> I don't even know. I know that um, there are people from all over the world that are participating. Uh, I don't know how to say your name, but uh, there's someone from France who is reading the um, uh, Before the Dawn with me. And so if you could figure out a way, uh, I'm talking to you now, your name starts with a G. I have no idea how to pronounce your name. So if you could figure out a way to, um, to message me, and tell me how to spell it phonetically, like what it would sound like or rhyme with or whatever. That would be great uh, because I have no idea and I don't want to say it, attempt to say it and just say it all wrong. Okay, so I went to the library day before yesterday and then again yesterday and I have a pile of library checkouts and I thought I would show you what all I checked out. Now I have two books that have been checked out to me already from this the previous month that I have not gotten to yet. So I was able to to keep those. Actually, one of them I checked my copy in and I checked out one on my husband's account so that it wouldn't be overdue. Uh, this is book four in the Butternut Lake series called The Space Between Sisters by Mary McNear. I would love to read this. I really enjoyed the first three <clears throat> Butternut Lake books. I read the first three main novels and the Christmas novella, and I really enjoyed those a lot. Then The Cat, the Quilt, and the Corpse by Luann, I'm sorry, Leanne Sweeney is what we're currently reading right now for the book one, Cozy's Club. So those two I've had checked out a while, and I want to get to those. Uh, then for what I've already started, I have already started Betrayal of Trust by J.A. Jantz. I'm listening to this on audio, CD, in my car. This is book 20 in the J.P. Beaumont series. So uh, J.P. and his partner, his current partner, is also his wife. And they have been, they're on a special homicide investigation team. <clears throat> and they have been summoned to, because the governor in their state, which I guess is Washington, her stepson may uh, have had something to do with the murder of a teenage girl. So they are at the governor's mansion questioning him right now, and, and they have a search warrant, and they're searching. I've just, I just finished up the first disc, and so far it's really good. Then I uh, also checked out the next book for our Cherry Cola read-along, which is The Reading Circle by Ashton Lee. Now, a couple of people said that they think they won't continue on with the series. I really want to encourage you to try one more book. I looked at all the books on Goodreads, and all of the books except the first one have a much higher average rating. The first book was rated an average of two point something, and all of the other books are rated three point something, and maybe one of them is a four point something. So I just want to encourage you to, you know, maybe try to pick up one more and see if, uh, you know, apparently the series does improve some according to the consensus. So, uh, so the next book is The Reading Circle. 
And then I showed you one J.A. Jantz book. I also checked out Kiss of the Bees by J.A. Jantz. I'm going to listen to this on Hoopla. This is book two in the Brandon Walker series. And uh, book five of this series is also a mashup with one of her other series. I can't remember now if it's J.P. Beaumont or Joanna Brady. Uh, hang on. My daughter's bus is here. Well, I heard a honk, but uh, it wasn't her bus. Someone else in the neighborhood is honking their horn. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to go ahead and um, I've been wanting to read this and get caught up with the Brandon Walker series so that by the time I get to that book in the other series, then I'll be caught up with this one and ready to read it. Uh, Jay Jantz has several books in her series that are crossovers. So... Uh, like book 10 in the J.P. Beaumont series is uh, is also, or maybe book book 10 in the Joanna Brady series is also book 19 in the J.P. Beaumont. So, you know, they, they follow their series, but they're, you know, mashed up. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just rambling. Okay. So uh, the other books I have that I am t am intending am intending to read soon. Did I say that right? Either I may have to start this over. I am just getting tongue tied. Uh, I want to read the best, worst, worst, best, <laughs> the best Halloween ever by Barbara Robinson. This is book three in the Herdman series, and as of right now, there's only three books in the series. I wish there was going to be more. I don't know even how old these are, but they are adorable and. Funny, funny, funny. Uh, this is from 2004. So I love this. I've been saving this one for the month of October. And it's on audio on Hoopla. So I'll probably listen to it. Although it's just a tiny little middle grade book. But it's really... I, I'm hoping that this is going to be as cute as the other two books in the series. All right. Then on audio, I have checked out City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. I finished the uh, the Infernal Devices, and now I need to finish the Mortal Instruments and be done with the Shadowhunters world. I'm not planning on reading any more of the series. I liked it okay, but it's really not my thing. I just kind of wanted to go ahead and finish these two series and just, you know, see what all the fuss was about and, and all of that. So this will be the last one for that series, and I will be done. I went ahead and checked out my November book club book for our public library book club. It's a nonfiction book, but uh, there are uh, at least one or two other people in my book club that have kind of gotten interested in audiobooks, and I there may only be one copy of this audiobook, so I thought I would go ahead and get it done, read it ahead. I picked up the um, print book, though, to show you. The Killers of the Flower Moon, The Osage Murders, and The Birth of the FBI by David Grant. My husband read this a year or two ago and said, you ought to read this because I'm from Oklahoma originally and this is about the um, the Osage uh, tribe and the start of the FBI and all of that. So, um, you know, the setting is Oklahoma. And it must have really been covered up because there was nothing about this that I recall in my Oklahoma history book when I was growing up. So I don't think that uh, it was anything that was well known. But now, apparently, it's out in the open and it's supposed to be a really good book. All right. So then I also picked up two books from the Bookmobile. Yesterday I was at the Bookmobile. And these are books that I think I would like to recommend to our book club for next year. And I would open the I would open the floor up for suggestions from you. Uh, now I'm the um, I'm the facilitator of the Mystery Book Club, and so I'm looking for suggestions for that. But then I also attend the regular Literati. We call it the Literati Book Club. So that's our main book club that's been meeting for several years at our public library. And so we generally read uh, historical fiction and literary fiction, things like that. So these I picked up. Uh, I have been interested in this one for quite a while. The Chilberry Ladies Choir by Jennifer Ryan. So if any of you have uh, read this and you think this would make a good book club selection, then let me know. And I've been interested in Elizabeth Berg for a long time, and this I think is her newest one. Uh, I've read now one of her books, and I have a bunch of them. I don't have this one, but this looks really interesting. The Story of Arthur True Love and um, you know, if, if you've heard of this or if you think this would make a good book club book, let me know. And feel free to make suggestions for book club books. And uh, I'll, I'll comment back if we've already read them or not or if it's something that um, 
you know, that I think we would be interested in reading. Usually within the year, we pick at least one classic. We pick at least one Florida book. And then at Christmas, we pick a Christmassy, light, shorter book. And other than that... Um, you know, we're open to anything. We have read a lot of World War II fiction, and I think a couple of people are a little burn out on that, but I, I would imagine we couldn't get through one whole year without at least one. And I think Chilbury Ladies' Choir may be set in World War II. Yes, uh, it is. England, World War II. So, uh, so anyway, so not too much World War II, but, uh, but of course we're open to, to suggestions and then I will pass those on to the group. So that's it. That's what I have checked out from the library. I already showed you the apple orchard and I'm looking at my, um, at my stacks here to see if I missed anything. So uh, so that's all for this video. It's kind of a Friday Reads video, but um, you know, mixed with a couple of announcements and, and, and a library haul. So just a hodgepodge. Uh, but next week, I hope to get back to doing a regular Friday Reads because at the end of the month, I will do a monthly wrap up and then I'll start fresh then next Friday. I will do a Friday Reads of everything I've read so far in the first week of October. So that's it. That's for, all for this video. Uh, I'll be back soon with another video. I spent a good portion of today vlogging my book shopping experiences and showing you some of the fun places where I like to shop for books. So that video will be up in a couple of days after I have time to edit it. And um, I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.